what is going on guys and welcome back to terry's theories this is terry all right guys so how's everybody been doing me doing pretty good i just got through watching uh star trek picard the first episode of that and man it was awesome for uh for those who like uh star trek um i grew up watching star trek and it was one of my favorite shows growing up and hey i still like it and uh but it was really good it was a really good episode check it out and uh, what we've got here is a uh, picture of mars and this was taken on soul 2639 and what i found here was something peculiar and um, maybe you've already spotted maybe you haven't but what i want to look at is right there right here to be particular and uh, to me it looks like um it could be a, a helmet or you know most likely it's it's just a rock but right there you got it we got what looks like two two eyes and it looks like uh, you know we got some kind of shroud right there um, this is the original format and then this is uh, what I found was best to bring out more detail um, Tell me what you think. Could I be on to something? Or am I just looking at more pareidolia? Um, you be the judge. But I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, I go through all these photos, uh, Mars photos, and you go through so many uh, looking for something to stand out to you. And, and a lot of times a rock is just a rock. But... um this was something that I thought stood out to me and maybe it's stand out to you so 2639 alright guys so this next photograph was sent in to me by Soul Evictus he is one of my uh, subscribers and this is a picture of Mars and I'm not exactly sure what soul this is but this is a very busy photograph and it's got a lot going on in this photograph now the focal point of this is right here now we can see all these flat surfaces and to me this looks like a, uh, a foundation or a ground level of sorts uh, long since destroyed uh, if you zoom in and I know it's blurry and it's up close it's not really meant to be viewed this way but if you can notice uh, right here we've got this foundation and if you can tell I hope that you can see this right here we have another it looks like a step up it looks like another level it, step, it goes this way and cuts back. we got a 90 degree angle going down. So it looks like a corner of, a, uh, of, uh, of another foundation or another uh, level of this foundation here on the bottom. And it looks like we have two structures here and there that you could walk through through the middle. And there is some symmetry to it. because so we have what looks like the structure and it has a part that extends here. And the same thing has happened in the background there. I know it's hard to see. So what, what happened? You know, is there or was there life on Mars? And, and what happened to them? Uh, where did they all go? You know, was it destroyed by war? And who were they fighting with? Most likely they're fighting with themselves, like, like what happens here on Earth. You know, we're not fighting with other alien species. I mean, that's kind of where, where your mindset goes when you think of war on Mars. But most likely they were fighting, they destroyed themselves, if I had to guess, which I could be wrong. And uh, probably over uh, whatever, you know, how we fought World War One and Two, uh, and normal conflicts that worlds have with each other. One's, one race against another, or one people against another, for whatever reasons. But an uh, interesting picture, a lot going on. It looks like a lot of artifacts in this picture, especially the one in the center. Uh, you know, it does appear to be a foundation. And you can see these vast mountains we have in the background. And it's just wide open spaces, man. It's uh, a big place to explore. And one day, you know, uh, we may set foot on Mars. And I believe that, you know, I think we have set foot on Mars. But of course, it would never be put out there. And uh, I'm sure somebody's going to disagree with me. And, you know, that's fine. But tell me what you think, guys. Sol Evictus, he sent in the photograph. Um, he had a, a good eye for picking this out. And um, like I said, I don't know the exact soul that this is, but uh, definitely an interesting photograph.
All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, this is a little shaky at the beginning, but it, it evens out. Now, this takes place in 2017 in Australia. Now, we've got some pretty interesting uh, orb yeah. or spheres you know activity. So, check this out and tell me what you guys think. Some de UFOs for world us to have, brother. Unbelievable. We see three new UFOs. Cannot believe it. Now this is recorded by subscriber Alex Carter. It was filmed in Springfield, Missouri and he emailed this to me a couple of days ago and it shows two orbs yeah. they're doing some interesting maneuvers in the night sky. Check it out and uh, let's talk about it. Yeah, you see it? You see how high up it is? You see how, oh look, it's, it just picked up speed. No, we don't all listen to you. Here, Craig, get it on mine. Here, get it on mine, honey. Is your thing turn dark? Like mine does? Here, get it on mine. I'm zoomed in all the way. Okay, you yeah. just gotta click, um... I can't see anything. I know, well, it's because... No, it's completely dark. Oh. That's great. Babe, I got it. Did you? Babe, look. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now this was recorded by Lewis Stevens, he's an amateur astronomer and also one of my subscribers. And now he took this video and I'd like to share with you some of his work and also some close-ups of the moon. Now Lewis lives in the UK and uh, he uses a 2000 millimeter lens and here are some stills that I took from his recording. And I'm trying to zoom in to bring in, bring out a little more detail. Great job, Lewis. I look forward to your next video, my friend. Now, this was also sent in by Sol Evictus. And this is one of the last known photographs of the Cassini probe before it did its death dive into Saturn. Now, what we've got here, or what NASA's calling this, is one of uh, the moons of Saturn. And you can see how the moon disrupts the rings. It gives us that wave in the ring. Now they call it a moon. Could it be a moon? Yeah. Could it be something else? That's possible too. But uh, you can see how it's an oblong shaped or egg shaped moon. Uh, very interesting. Maybe one day we'll get some closer images of, of this moon. But uh, a good find. Uh, thanks for sharing. Thank you for emailing. Now Sol Evictus has emailed me several of... Uh, his findings and I'm going to be sharing them with you guys but uh, thank you for that and uh, let's move on to the next video now this comes from YouTube channel Demon Krosovich and it was recorded in the Republic of Mordovia which is in Russia and it looks almost like a triangular shaped UFO or maybe a TR-3B in other words but at times it's hard to really tell what shape it is. It seems like it uh, it changes shape. You just can't really get a good look at it. Uh, it's very odd. Tell me what you think. Give me your best guess. And at the end of this clip, I've got some close-ups to maybe better tell what we're looking at. Are we looking at a UFO? Could this be something natural? Could it be uh, could it be a, a balloon of sorts or something in the sky? I don't know. It just seems to kind of hang there. Um, tell me what you think. Give me your best guess. Alright guys, so this video was recorded in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And what we have here, it looks like a triangular shaped UFO or could it be the infamous TR-3B that we hear so much about? Um, or could it be uh, an airplane? Um, you know, it could be either one of those things. Uh, it looks suspiciously triangular. But uh, I'll leave that up to you guys. You tell me what you believe that, that this could be. 
and this is coming to the end of the video and I thank you for watching Terry's Theories and if you have some interesting footage that you would like to send in to, to see it on the show please send it to me and I will do my best to get it out there this is Terry with Terry's Theories Terry out